Let's do it. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your favorite podcast. You know the name. You know the name. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo, got the singing mic. That's singing good. mic. All right, Justin. That's- I always offer to sing a mic to the guest. That was good. Whatever you got, let me see it. <laughs> oh yes, it's Griffin with Griffin, Griffin with Griffin, 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 Griffin. Wiki wiki. I wanted to throw it back at him. Yeah. Oh, you thought we just started? We just did it. We're starting right now. Griffin with Griffin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 yeah. Little Christina and it. Yeah. You're like, please give the mic back. Please. Justin Martin Day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Uh. Griffin with Griffin. His favorite Harry Potter. Oh, oh, oh sorry, fuck. sorry. Oh, I, you know. know, I'm going a little extra because my voice has been just fucked up for months. I wonder why. It, no, no, it's just because I had like I had a sinus thing, and yeah. then I, and then like that's why I got this air purifier going. Oh. But now I just feel the gold in this bag. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. You know, so it's like you know, and people notice it because you do it every week, and people are like, oh, something's wrong with Griffin's voice, you know. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the podcast, longtime friend of mine. Um, we did a great sketch together called what was it called again? Um, 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 a ge- be in a jar. Shit, that was we a did, long we time did ago. A long time that ago. Was a long time ago. I know ago. we did this thing called be in a jar. That was funny. Uh, regular at the comedy store from E Entertainment. Um, from Snapchat. Uh, <laughs> most, but you know what? Though more importantly, my friend, Mister yep. Justin Martindale. Oh, hello, everyone. Thank you. You're here. Huh? I mean, we did it. I know. I yeah. said so you were like busy. Uh, Bitching people out on your phone. <laughs> That's what I do best. So you, so, uh, you, so you, ha- do you, do you, ha- do you find yourself having to attack the trolls? <laughs> I don't. No, no, no. It's not the trolls. I just. Uh, you have a lot of pet peeves. <laughs> I have a lot of pet peeves. Uh, well, this is the podcast I mean, for you. This is it. I have a lot of pet peeves. I have a lot of pet peeves with people who think they're they're something that they're not. So. That's oh really? And I just call I just call bullshit on a lot of shit. <laughs> That's what well, I do. So what you were you were in mid calling bullshit out. What what happened? Well, no, it's just <clears throat> I was telling you one of my biggest pet peeves right now is when uh, it happened a long time. Well, I, I think it still happens in comedy clubs where you know you'll see somebody you've never seen before, yeah. and or like you'll see something online. And they're like, "I'm a regular at the comedy store," and you're yeah. like, <laughs> "Yeah, <laughs> are, are you?" <laughs> <laughs> Are you? And and then they'll post something and then like you'll go check that person out on Instagram or whatever and it says comic in the bio and you're like, hmm. And then you actually see them do something and it's not funny at all. <laughs> and you're just like, oh. You know, I used to get mad. Like I, I remember <sighs> this is... I experienced this when I did... Like, you know how you do these like out-of-town shows like like say an hour out of LA or I went to Hemet. Oh, I know Hemet. Yeah, I went to Hemet. I'm doing mm-hmm. this weird show, the check bounce on that show, by the way. Oh, yeah, it's Hemet. Yeah, and so and the guy and so the guy was asking the comics their credits, and this one person was like, you know, regular at the comedy store. Uh, and I looked at him and I said, <laughs> I've never seen you before. Yeah. We all know each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who who you and, and know what it was is they had done like a bringer show yeah. in the in the main room, one of Vargas and Kathy's bringer shows, and maybe they've done it a couple times. So yeah. You have regularly performed <laughs> yes. in the building, yeah. But to say you're a regular yeah. is like, yo. And the only reason I take offense is all the shit we had to do to become a regular, yeah. All the all the rigmarole, and then you just gonna say it. I mean, this is like back in the day when MySpace was out, and then like you know you had a a comedian's profile, yeah. So, <laughs> as, as if you if as, as, as if if you put it on the internet, it makes it legitimate. Legit, yeah. God. Yeah, so that's that's where I'm at. Where I'm just like, <laughs> well, because I have a show coming out on uh, in Mar- uh, in March, March 11th, called um, that we actually started at the Comedy Store, yeah. called uh, it was called Stand Up to the Streets. It was, and then E took it and they called it um, 
the marketing department all got together and brainstormed like throughout the night and they came up <laughs> with the funny dance show. <laughs> yeah. So get ready. March 11th, only on E. That's the day before my birthday. It, yeah. Oh, yeah. The 12th. Yeah. I'm the 20th. So, um, do you, so are you, uh, do you like you you like being on an E though, right? Are you like an E person or what what did you like are you where you would like to be right now? Like, you know, when you first got into comedy, because I remember you had a great story of how you got passed. Oh yeah. And that's why like, like a lot of people hated you for a long time. Still do. Was, yeah, because it was just some random Mitzi yeah. was there, or you just <laughs> yeah. you were performing and she said, Hey, make him a regular. You know? Yeah, she like came down from the mountain like you know? one night. After. I just, I remember that day. I was actually yeah. at the comedy store. We all were. And everybody was talking about it. Like yeah. you, you, you know who Justin Martin Dill is? You know who this is? Because Mitzi just passed him. Like, yeah. You know, and everybody was like, what? Oh, people are so pissed. Yeah. So mad at me. <laughs> so mad. Um, yeah, I'm a little, by the way, I'm a little jealous of your Joe Rogan experience mug. I've been on this fucker show and I, I didn't get any merch. What the hell's going on here with this? I just texted his ass like. No, you did not. I, I did. I was like, yo, where's my thermos? <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm that way. I'm, I'm, I'm you, petty like that. <laughs> petty Eddie. <laughs> I'm petty as, and you you just go to just floss it too like oh hi click click oh you know? my god but um yeah so you you got passed like that so anyways at the point did you always want to be a comic like what point did like was that like a dream come true or was it just still like a whirlwind of like to where you are now like run me through it well I mean like back then it was just I was just trying to get by it was just um because I mean it was a different it was like the recession was happening in in L A. So it was just like everybody was broke. Oh, that was like 2008-ish? 2008, yeah. Wow, shit. So it was just something that it was like, oh, we'll give you, you know, a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you're like, I'm in. Um, and so, yeah, it was just, you know, people were people were people went out on auditions and stuff like that. And it was just like, what's the point? Yeah. And I was still waiting tables at the time. And it was like. I'd show up and there'd be locks on the door because they couldn't pay us. And we'd have to go to like a, um, to go cash our checks at like a check cash place. Oh, Jesus. What is this called? Yeah, check cash and Check places. cash and places. <laughs> and they would bounce and they'd take interest. Oh, oh yeah. And um, uh, and yeah. And then finally it was just like, I, I just remember seeing some like lame ass like stand up thing on TV. And I was like, these people suck. <laughs> I was like, I could do this. <laughs> I don't even remember who was on it. It was just like, it was like on Logo or something. And I was like, ugh. Uh, what, was, what was Logo? <clears throat> it was like when RuPaul started, RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh. So they did like some like LGBT like comedy thing. And I was like, oh God. Right. Is this what it is? I'm like, I could blow this shit out of the water. And um, I, I called up a friend and was just like, hey, I want to try it out. And I got like six minutes at this place that still does a comedy night on Tuesday called um, Drunk on Stage. It's great. Over at Akbar. <laughs> Drunk and, uh, on stage. And I have been. <laughs> and um, and uh, did it. And then every month, that was on Oct October 2008. And so every month I did like a monthly show. I got on some like monthly show. Tammy Jo Deeren was doing shows around town. And then I think like Kathy Lewis was the one who was like, hey, I've got that open mic night. And I was like, oh, let's try it out. And then it was packed. Michael Jackson just died. And everyone was there that night. I think it was like a Friday night because everybody was there. And uh, yeah, and I guess Mitzi came down from the castle and saw me on stage and was like, Meh. Yeah, you just, and, and that it, was it. And it doesn't happen like that. Never. Yeah. That's so, like, crazy. I'm technically, it's no, yeah, I'm the last one. The last one that was chosen by her personally. <sighs> Um, let's see, 2008. That was 2009, June 2009. June <clears throat> 2009. Yeah, wow. Yeah, and then I had no, and I had no idea what it meant. I yeah. was like, "What? <laughs> what does that mean?" They're like, "You got passed." I'm like, "Okay." Yeah. See, and that's what's wrong with it. <laughs> I had no clue. I had. Uh, they're like, "Mitzi saw you," and I'm like, "I was like, Chad, like, who?" I was that like, Pete Davidson character. I was like, oh "My God." <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. And then, so, like you said, you were watching Logo. I mean, it's like obviously. I mean, we don't have to talk about. You being gay, but stuff. <laughs> hey, no, but like I understand because I, I I always find that when like people people like to label, so it's like yes, if, if you're not just a comic, you're like a black comic, yes, a lesbian comic, right. a gay comic, an alternative comic, a mainstream comic, you know, a Jewish comic, a Jewish an Asian comic. comic. Yeah. So yeah. when you get that label of gay comic, it's oh, like it infuriates it, it, me. It does infuriate you. Yeah. 
Uh, but yeah, and because also, like, I, I feel like people get pigeonholed into, into performing a certain way. And same way, like, black comic, like, it's only, like, if you go to a black show, it's, like, a lot, you feel like, oh, this is very black. Like, you yeah. feel it. You know, you're like, this is <laughs> black as hell. What's going on here? But... <laughs> No, because I've been in I've been in both environments. Like someone, uh, so, you know, I, I oh man, I, when I first started, it was crazy because you know I'm mixed race, and so it's like I, I go all I over knew the it. place. I knew it, you know what I mean. But it's like it's still like I would go to these like bliggity bliggity black shows, and it would be like, <laughs> I'd be like, oh shit, this is like I didn't know it was gonna be like this. And then, but then like, okay, so then you're like you're a gay, you're gay, but yeah. you don't consider yourself a gay comic. But then everything you see, like especially if you're looking at at that time, you're looking at logo, like they didn't want somebody up there. Talking normal, yeah. like talking about normal stuff, just like you know when you go to the DMV. No, right. I mean, they wanted to be like you know when you're gay and you go yeah. to the DMV, <laughs> and the door is open and you walk in and go yes 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 yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. and you're like oh man yeah okay so, so is that what inspired? If you, have you always um, tried to go against that? Um, when I started, I did yeah because I was afraid. You, I was afraid I was gonna get like, you know, not. Um, appreciated, I guess. All right. Like people were gonna be like, "Oh, that's the see know. me as funny." Yeah. Well, well don't see me as gay. See yeah. me as funny. <laughs> well, it's like I don't want to see like. Well, I'm straight. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, you know, and it always kind of like it weirded me out when you saw somebody, you know, who who was Asian, and they'd get up on stage and they're like, "So I'm Asian," <laughs> and you're like, "Oh." <laughs> Is that what's mm. wrong up with your eye? <laughs> so it just made me kind of like, and and then like as I was watching gay comics for a while, I just realized it kind of went into that like real blue material yeah, where it was right. just like, oh, I gotta shock the shit out of him, and um, it I just wasn't my style, and it was just real bitter and real like you know like you know when you're getting a blowjob and you're just like. <laughs> No, I don't. It's been months. <laughs> the Sahara is dry with this desert. Um, so I just kind of was like, there's way more. In, I want to take my perspective on it and show everybody that it's not so like, oh, here we go. You yeah. know what I mean? And but then you also then, but then you find yourself swinging far the other way mm -hmm. where it's just like, you're just trying to deny, you know what I mean? Like not deny, right. but just kind of be like, don't, what are you guys talking about? Don't even mention that to me. But yeah. then, but then have, do you find yourself now more comfortable where it's yes. just like, yeah, yeah absolutely. Tell. Absolutely. And I just feel like it's so, I mean, hell we have like a, we have Pete Buttigieg who's running for president. who's like the first openly gay, like presidential candidate and i'm just kind of like we, oh with, with butt in his name with butt in his name i know the irony i just I was like god damn pete. i know i know i know i know i thought like about that pete too. booty check yeah pete, i just wanted to like just start twerking I know. and like and pence is like oh god i'm getting a boner um but I'll be, yeah i i yeah i think one i want to say like maybe a couple years ago i mean it's only been i've been do, i've been doing been a paid regular there for about 10 years now. And I want to say like in the past, like three, four years is when I started kind of loosening up and just being like, I mean, I know what I sound like, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it's true like too. You can't be up there, but yeah, I was going to say like, there's no yeah. hiding. You know what I mean? You can't be up there. Like, I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> Leave my highlights out of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just, I'm finally comfortable in my own yeah. body and I'm comfortable. I've always been comfortable in my own body, but it's just, I'm comfortable in, if you're going to be like, you're, you're okay taking I the mantle. I don't care. Yeah. yeah, yeah if yeah, you yeah, don't yeah. like me, you clearly have something wrong with you, you know? <laughs> or, right, right. or if that's like the issue. Yeah, like, I whoa, I that. don't know. Like e even last Saturday, I don't know if you heard about this. Uh -uh. So last Saturday at the store, we were in the um, the original room and the door guy, Alex. Alex? Yes. Um, I walk in at like 8. 15 or something and he was the door guy who went up at like 725 to warm everybody up okay got you and apparently there was this bachelor party of like 15 guys there uh-oh yeah <laughs> and so i'm already like <laughs> and um they were already like a little drunk or whatever <clears throat> and i guess he got up on stage and the one of the guys out of nowhere was just like get off the stage you suck you fucking faggot at like 7 30 <laughs> Seven. So we, so we starting strong at seven thirty, <laughs> and the you know the entire room is like uh, like the yeah. butthole just went <laughs> up, 
And I I walked in. I was like, yeah, how are they? And he's like, they're really weird. I'm like, oh, okay, well, you know, it's Saturday. He shouldn't have said that. Well, he should have been more specific. Then he told me. Yeah, okay. Because I'm like, told they're me. really weird. And you yeah. go, okay, good. I can yeah. handle it. Oh, Another I, fag. Yeah, yeah no. I went in there. <laughs> And I sat down, and there was like a lot of hustle because they didn't know whether they were going to kick him out or not because it was fifteen people, right? And so they were like, oh. "Big check," and they money were yeah. on the line, yeah. And they didn't want to make it aw- even more awkward right, with like right. having them leave and make a scene or whatever. So I'm sitting in the back, and then Jen comes over, and she's like, "Oh, we got security coming in," and I was like. I've got this. <laughs> I was right, like, right, right, right. I'm not, what are, you know. This isn't your first rodeo. <laughs> right. <laughs> this isn't your first time you've been like, had a, had uh, yeah, hateful, like hateful I've been, shit coming at you. Yeah. yeah. So I get up on stage. They bring me up on stage. And Jeff, the piano player, who's gay as well, he's just like. Man, he's playing angry. Oh, he was like. <laughs> <laughs> he's playing cabaret for no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen to your heart. Yeah, like, <laughs> just go He's play. playing rah, 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 rah. Oh, God. <laughs> Just born this way and shit. <laughs> I'm beautiful in my way. Yeah. Um, and so I get up on stage and, you know, and C- Candace Thompson was, she brought me up and she was like, oh, just get ready because they're fucking weird. And I'm like, yeah. I got it. So I get up on stage and I was like, so I heard you guys were looking for a fucking faggot. <laughs> and the room is I'm, like, yeah. oh. <laughs> And then I, I I start talking to them. I was like, no, you don't do that shit in my house, bro. And yeah. he was like, he was like, oh yeah, ha ha ha. And they start talking. I'm like, okay, calm down, Bakersfield. Let's, you know, <laughs> you're in cargo shorts and Crocs. <laughs> yeah, like, right. You, no, and you're at a bachelor party at a comedy club. Yeah. <laughs> and it got to the point where like I finally got everybody back, and I set the room back, and um. I was like, did you hear all that laughter, guys? I go, who's the faggot now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was The liberal Hollywood was like, yes, ah! we're fucking woke queen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's what's so funny. Like, Lights Out, like when we did Lights Out yeah. together, I got a lot of that. Uh, those comments of people being like, oh, another lib, another liberal with his agenda, <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> it's so. Funny. It's, it, I know. It's. Like I'm a, like. I'm sorry if I'm open minded. <laughs> I'm sorry if I don't want the world to catch on fire. You know, it's weird because I I always think that like you know we love to label people and put people in like g- general categories. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But it's like, you know, it's um. It, it's uh, my it's fucking. I, I should have turned my thing off. Now I gotta, uh, I, I was gotta, that a phone ring? Yeah, it's a phone ring. Sorry, it's like <sighs> this, I'm doing this by myself, guys, and it's it's hard to like you know. <laughs> it's hard to turn your phone off. Yeah, you know what? I actually got to keep this on so I can turn the turn the phone off. Myself. We'll edit this out and post. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't even matter. Just but people know my <laughs> ghetto ass podcast. <laughs> You know what I mean? I'm just gonna put this here so I can just stop it when it does it again. Because you know what I mean? It's so annoying. But like, by the way, the floor is covered in crickets and roaches. No, we just no, don't. We just stop it. <laughs> <laughs> people already know about the wires. Now they're gonna think, oh god, that place is funky. But no, anyway, you know, pleasant. you put people with, like we love to put people in boxes and act like that that they have. Just, if anybody else is like you, that you all, you have the same experience. Mm-hmm. You know, so the boxes start with like the one big box would be human being. Okay, mm-hmm. so we're all human beings, you know. Well, I guess the box before that would be Earthlings. Earthlings. Know? So everything, but that, that's everything on the planet, right? right? Right, right. And then you go to human being as if as if we're all the same, but we're not. Then you go male, female. Yeah, we're not. Especially like like like, and and that's I think why there's so much turmoil all the time. It's like females, you know. It's like I remember watching like this. I forgot who the 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 the. the the pop singer, young actress, singer who was on The View. Uh-huh. She, she wasn't on The View, but she they were talking about her because her phone got hacked and her nudes came out. And then, oh. and then the ladies on The View are going like, this is why you don't do that. And I'm thinking to myself, yo, old chicks, like you're at a stage in your life where you don't want to be naked on the internet. Or in real life. Or in real life. Right. I get it. But don't the, tw- the 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 twenty five and under girl mm-hmm. who loves her body, loves the attention, who you know just who wants to be sexy and empowered without men being perverts. But that's what it comes with. But they still don't mind because they can deal with it, and they don't mind having their titties out, and they don't mind being sexy. Mm-hmm. You're not the same. 
You, it's not catch all female, right? You know what right, I mean. Right. People are in different walks of life. So you have these young girls who are like that. Then you have the mid thirties girls who like, and even they aren't all the same, but they have a different experience. You, you know what I mean? But also, you have the guys too. I exactly. get it. I get it. I get it all the time. So what I'm saying for you is the same kind of thing. So it's like, so now. You're gay. You're right. a comic. So it means you have to be gay. You have to be liberal. That means you're like, you know, you're anti whatever. And no. you're like, you know, and it's like you get this catch all box. And it's like, how do you deal with that? I just do. I'm just, per- that's just how I am. I believe yeah. in, I believe in equality for everybody. I believe if you everybody. want. Everybody. Well, <laughs> <laughs> calm down. <laughs> no, I just, it just blows my mind how it's like, you know, we're still in a world where like females are getting paid less than men for doing the right, like the amount of work. The only thing I did have a problem with was, you know, the whole like, there were no female directors nominated for the Oscars. And don't I'm like, me, that's where we have to kind of, we kind of have to draw the line there because it's like, maybe they weren't good. <laughs> you know, like that's where I'm just kind of like, oh, like I just don't want, that's the, I don't want everyone, that's the thing. We don't want, we're just passing out trophies now. You know, yeah, it if takes you, away if you from do it. the work and the work is good. I do think Greta Gerwig should have been nominated. That's for sure. But then like Natalie Portman was like, these are all the names of the women who weren't nominated. I'm like, bitch, you've only worked with like two female directors your entire career. Yeah. Relax. And, yeah. And you're, you're a high enough you have star none on your production company. Yeah, yeah, no so, women. So, yeah, well, don't even get me started. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. the, the, the hypocrisy. But yeah, only thing I'll say to that though, is that that's why it needs to start in the, in the development stage. Mm-hmm. So, so, it's just a twofold problem. So you're saying like, hey, the female directors that are currently working do better work. Yeah. Okay. Agreed. But at the same time, though, we're they're trying to say in the production phase, let's just hire more females. Right. And then we can have more to choose from right. for best director. My solution is if you have best actor female, best act, best supporting actor female male, then do the same thing for director. Yeah. Then you don't have to worry about it. Because it's like if oh like best actor male best best director male best director female yeah why not <laughs> you know but then people are gonna be like we already you know but it's like then why do we do you know why we we have to do that imagine if they took away best male best female actor yeah this shit would be bananas because you'd go who are you gonna take away who's not gonna make it who gave the actual best performance my whole point about it is sometimes it's gonna be all white guys that's the thing and and <laughs> you know sometimes I, sometimes it happens and and it. I just think no matter what, people will find a way to be outraged. Yeah. And that's so, like, the Shakira and J-Lo performance. Oh. I thought it was great. Oh. Oh. So delicious. <laughs> there was, they've been fined by the FCC 1,500 times. Like, there have really? been 1,500 cases, like, for the FCC. Again. And I'm like, what? Yeah. But then, you know, Maroon 5 can take his shirt off. And, you know, everyone was pissed off with Janet still to this day. And, you know, Million Moms or whatever, which is only like a couple hundred. They calm down millions of moms. <laughs> There's not a million of moms. Um, you know, they're like, I'm trying to watch this halftime show with my children. I'm like, hey, if, they're, if you think they're going to get offended by a Latina woman uh-huh. dancing, turn the TV off. It's every everyone's I'm play, I'm everyone's play, outraged. I'm play devil's advocate, yeah. okay, on this. The Super Bowl is if you're a parent, you know there are very few things that you could sit down with your kids and know for sure there's nothing inappropriate that's going to happen. Very few things on television that's like it, it has to be labeled, you know, warning. Gee, <laughs> wait, wait, you know, you have to yeah. know. So when you're watching a sporting event, you would like to think that you don't have to explain sexy movements to your children. You don't because they're already learning about it on their phones. I know. That's the thing. They're all on Snapchat. They all Listen, they're I'm all with you. I'm just <laughs> yeah. I'm just no, I'm posing like another I'm just posing another more, argument. I was more offended by the game itself. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what is this trash? <laughs> The smut on my television. Yeah, that was a great game. I know what you're saying, man. It's like it's like you know you know it's like you say like someone like Natalie Portman or mm-hmm. or they 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 make this big stink about everything. But it's like it's so hard. I I think that the the liberal elite, the rich liberals, and I, and I I'm not rich, but I count myself as like you know a self hating liberal because when you start making money and you start 
uh, it's hard to relate to people who are like struggling and trying to like, you know, the blue collar liberals, right, the ones right, that right. are like, we want this and we want that because like, it's all hypocrisy. When you're making money, you're a hypocrite. You're a liberal hypocrite. You know, it's like coming out about the wall, but you live in a gated community. Listen, I let you into my wine cave um, <laughs> one time. All right. And you were not supposed to bring that up again. All right. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's yeah. hard to like, it's hard to like, you know, and but they want to scream so loud about like well, how they have it. It's like, you know, it's like you say, now the point, you got a production company. Mm -hmm. Hire women, bitch. Yeah. Just you hire women. You but, can't bitch about the problem and not have women on your team. If <laughs> you're you, like, wait, if, what? <laughs> if you yourself aren't going to be a part yeah. of the solution, shut the fuck up. Yeah. You know? Or how about this one too? Like, do you, you see this whole thing about the Birds of Prey movie? What about, I saw it. I saw the movie. Okay, so, but there's a there's a whole thing about like men don't want to see strong women, and that's why it didn't do well. But when you look at the statistics, more men saw the movie than women. Okay, huh. so if fifty four percent of the people that watch that movie are men, we ain't the problem. Yeah. Okay. Like it just sucked. Well, and also <laughs> it was it was the DC, um, it was the uh, Suicide Squad. Yeah. And that movie tanked. Right. So this was like, it was still in that Suicide Squad universe. Yeah. So we had just seen Joaquin Phoenix play the Joker, but she was the Harley Quinn from the Jared Leto yeah, yeah, universe yeah, 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 yeah. of Joker. So yeah. I think that's where people were like, mm. I would hate you. He, that Joker wouldn't date this Like, chick. I want to see the Joaquin Phoenix Harley Quinn. Right, that right, right, right. That was pretty right. rad. Like, and, you know, and she's just like, hey, Mr. J, and I got a pet hyena. And you're yeah. like, okay, uh -huh. all God. right. Yeah. Well, you know, like, she fought really she hard. She did good. She, it, but she herself good. fought hard to make that movie. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, like, it's like, good for you. You hire all women. It's like, like you, th these women, they act like, like most men, we're going to go to the theater and be like, what is this, women? <laughs> Who wants to see? No, we just want to see, for me, I'm just speaking for me, I just want to see a good movie. Uh -huh. So like when it's not a good movie, I don't want to hear somebody say, oh, you didn't like it because it was all women. No, no, no. Don't speak for me. Yeah. I didn't like it because it fucking sucked. Yeah. You know, one of my favorite all-female movies was um, of the the favorite for sure. Did you see that? The favorite with Olivia. Oh, the favorite. Uh, the favorite. The favorite. So good. So good. That movie was yeah, excellent. I loved it. Didn't think one time about, oh my God, there's so many women in this. Uh, only women are talking. Yeah. It and was the, great. And the lesbians. Le Le League of Their Own. League of Their Own. <laughs> just just fant one of the best sports movies oh, yeah. of all time. Hands down. You know what I mean? So it's like. Every time I hear this used to be my playground. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Niagara Falls. Oh. <laughs> Like I'm getting choked up thinking about it right now. <laughs> yeah, dude. So it's it, I know it uh, is hard. So then, so then getting it back to you, it's like so you have like so now it's like you have to support Budacek. That's how people are going to come at you and be like, well, I mean, he's yeah. openly gay, so yeah. you you have to you, have you to. support him, yeah. right? You know, yeah. but it's like, I support the effort. Yeah, me too. I think it's great. I think I think I think personally, I think he's. I love his background. I love his history. I love his 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 service. Yeah. I think he's done more than the current guy has. Yeah. And um, the only thing is, I just think he's just a little too young. He just needs a little more salt and pepper in his hair. More ages in here. <clears throat> yeah, he just, I mean, and that's the thing is like. You don't he, want a twink in office. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing power back to the people and the bottoms. Uh, I didn't, you know, I didn't know that he was gay. I saw him on uh, Bill Maher's show, and I was like, "Oh, this guy's great!" Yeah, you know, I was like, "I was like, wow, he's he was like, he's quick witted, and he's, he's like articulate, fast, and yeah. he's fast, and he's like, you know, he knows what to say, and he has things to say about Bernie, he's got things to say about Biden, he's got mm -hmm. all these things to say, and he's like, all right, boom, 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 and then later I was like, and he's gay, and I was like, oh, oh. I, I don't know, if, you go, you go, are we ready? I don't know. Well, it's the same thing we asked about Obama. Right, right, right. You know, it's like, yeah. are we ready for are a black for like, president? But apparently we were. So yeah. just, but I don't know if there's any groundswell. It's like, yeah, but I don't know if we're ready for an old Jew to be president either. I mean, you know, that, I'm I, ready but, for anything that other than what we have we'll now. We'll see. That's the thing. That's what's so weird about it. That's what he's going to go. We had this crazy, uh, you know, this one situation. He's he's just outside the box. I'm not going to give my opinion either way. I'm just the saying Jack he's, is out of the box. He's, out, he's outside the <laughs> yes. box, right? And then the people going up against him is like, you, you have 
this old Jewish, you know, socialist, yeah. <laughs> the gay, the young gay dude yeah. who's who's got a husband, yeah. and you got this like woman, and you got the pervert, the sniffer. <laughs> yeah, it's it's it, we have the it's Suicide like, Squad. Yeah, it's, it's the yeah, Suicide yeah. Squad for the Democratic candidate. So it's like who knows what's gonna happen. It's so bizarre. Like I even said, I was like, if Pete Buttigieg wants my vote, he needs to like, like tag a line just to fucking read and then just death drop <laughs> and if he does a death drop on stage like a shablam i'm like all right i would like to see a i would like to see a debate he would be great in a debate mm-hmm. against trump mm-hmm. you know because trump will be trying hard not to call him a faggot <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean just, you, you, yeah yeah wrong well, you're what, wrong you're, what, you're, you're, <laughs> <laughs> but I want to know what he's what um that's that's interesting because what did he call him? He called him, he, you know how he gives nicknames. Yeah, he called him Little some, Pete or yeah, something. Yeah, but I'm gave, like, you didn't, yeah, he you wanted didn't to say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like with Obama. He was right. like, he was like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> oh my God. you know what I mean? He's just like, I don't you, know. you, know, you. you know, but, but I heard somebody talk about uh, Bernie saying that like Bernie's got the same kind of like ground support that say Trump had so it ain't about it's not about the the the, the facts or about the the issues it's just about these are a lot of people that like him you know what I mean so I maybe he's the one maybe they're the two old guys that can go at each other you know I don't normally talk about politics it's just I know we kind of went in I know but it's just it's just a, it's just it goes into like what we're talking about like putting people in a box you know yeah. and it's, it sucks that even as I'm saying it and labeling people it's like you know, we can't help but get past that. So it's like maybe one day we'll be able to just be like, it's Bernie, it's this person, it's that person without having to think about the other things about them. Yeah. You know? Because even Trump himself, he's the he's the closest to independent president we've had in a long time. Ooh. If you really think about it, he was really this different type of guy, and he hijacked a Republican Party. He just picked one. He was yeah. like, "All right, you guys," and you're, became, you're my, and became you're mine. like a leader. Like, and everyone's <laughs> like, "That's what's just so weird." I don't remember ever having a president. He's like, "Are you going to be loyal to me?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're like, "What? <laughs> this is some Emperor Palpatine shit." <laughs> Good. Like all he needs is lightning coming out of his fingers. I know he's just in the Oval Office going, "Yes, good, uh, good." Then <laughs> die. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, but what I loved is like having the question. I, this was to Elizabeth Warren like a couple months ago, maybe where they went after her. They were like, "If you win, you will be the uh, the first female president." She's like, "Yeah, and I'll be the youngest one too." I was like, "Oh, bitch! <laughs> oh no, she did it." <laughs> yeah. Take my wig off and throw it. Yeah, I thought it was awesome. I want to see Elizabeth Warren in the Oval Office. She takes her wig off, scratches her head. All right, tell me about Korea. (laughs) I I, I don't know. I I just tell people get. My main message for people is just get out and vote. Even if you're if you're pro Trump and you're pro how things are going and you like it and you think that he's getting a bad bad rap, go out and vote. And if the people that are like, because because I just feel like the liberal side does a lot of yapping mm-hmm. no, with no action, mm-hmm. you know, register to vote, vote. I already voted. Make your yeah, exactly. Make your make your stance, and then we'll see what happens. And in, 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 you know, uh, on the other side, yeah. I you mean, know what I mean? That's why they have them. <laughs> but I'm, that's what I'm wondering. I'm like, do we vote? And everyone's like, oh, the, it, we went blue. Oh, but the electoral college. Oh, okay, that old chestnut. Yeah, you know, so we'll see. We'll Who see. Knows? All right, let's get off that fucking. Oh, politics. right. Oh, you know what we should talk about is something that we both love very much. It is the show The Servant, which I talk <gasps> about. Oh yeah, I talk about a lot on this show because I love I loved it so, with other people. You know. Yeah. So oh, I, you do. I, yeah. I finished it. Yes. It, so what did you think? Yeah, you're off of it now. I can tell. I can tell you have a you you have a little stink eye about it now. It disappointed <laughs> you. It was confusing. <laughs> I liked the last. I because because I. Because there was a time where, when it was on, you and I would be in the hallway. Oh yeah, like and I'd be like, and, oh and you're God. like, shut up, and yeah, I'm like, bye. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, no, I haven't seen it yet. I'm like, oh, you, <laughs> <laughs> don't you tell me anything, you. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a hilarious sketch. Like, I, we want to we, we want to say the bad thing to each other, but we don't. <laughs> you oh, forget. What? You forget. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, but it was good. I liked it. I thought the um it was it I was waiting for that Shyamalan twist and it, it never happened. They told him he was gonna have two seasons. 
I know. Okay, so but, there's but, another season coming. Yes, out. yes. Because because he probably went to him and been like, "Does okay. everyone know? Does everyone know the show? Yeah, the show is starving. It's the M Line okay. Shyamalan show on Apple, Apple TV, Apple, Apple TV, Plus, or whatever. Apple yeah. Plus. So only like 17 people are watching it. Oh, <laughs> it was good. Yeah, and it's just a very weird show with weird angles, shots, and like you know, this like girl is a nanny. Well, first of all, this is not giving anything away. There's a couple. Mm-hmm. Their baby dies mysteriously. The mom has a psychotic break, and they give her a doll, and she thinks this doll is real, like a service doll, a service like doll to help her. Yeah, grieve. to help her grieve. Yeah. But she's making it out that this doll is real. Yeah. That she even hires a nanny. The nanny comes, and the nanny's doing the same thing. The husband's freaked out by that. Next thing you know, a real baby's in the crib. Yeah. Okay. And you're like, is this bitch a witch? Did she make the baby? You know. And so then it's just like well, every episode is like a a weird ending where there's it's an open ended ending, and you, then you have to watch the next episode to find out what the fuck happened there. And there's like a the husband's like a chef, so there's a lot of weird culinary yeah. like. <laughs> Like meats, like yeah, he's making weird dishes on the show. Yeah. And that's weird. Yeah, he has the best wine cellar ever. Yeah. Oh, and then her, and then her family shows up. They're weird. Yeah, she's weird. She's beating herself. Yeah, but then she's like weirdly sexual, but then not. And yeah, and then and then then uh, you she know, she starts hanging like straw, like. The artifacts Ron, over the yeah, room right. and stuff. The and Ron Weasley's in it. <laughs> Ron Weasley's in it. <laughs> He's great though. But then, know? I mean, that's what kind of broke my heart was the when you find out how the baby died. You're like, oh, oh. we won't even. Split. No, I fuck you guys. You got You should have watched it already. Split. But and but then you know what? You know what? I needed that. You know I why? Too. Because I needed to know how could she be that crazy that she don't know this baby's not a real baby? Because she had been living with a dead baby for so long that you know that she left in the car. Uh, it just is tragic, but it was great. Ugh. So I want to see like what this is. But is the second season going to be about this cult? You know, well, that's like is so, there magic? I mean, yeah. just, the whole thing is so bizarre. Are man. they dead? Yeah, because there was a fire. Remember right, there was the fire, right. is and she then taking somebody's identity. Because then at the end, you see her like walk out of the house. Wait, hold on. Let me go back. Oh, is that what happened? They had the big party. They and were having the christening. They, they had, invited people yeah, over. They had placenta balls. Oh, she put he. This motherfucker put his wife's placenta. His wife's placenta in, in the hors d'oeuvres and didn't tell nobody. No one. They nobody like, knew. People were like, oh, right. shit. Give me more of these. Damn, these balls. Oh, my God. <laughs> it just makes you like you're going to go to people's party and you don't want to eat shit. Right. <laughs> but, yeah, as you shouldn't. Trust no bitch. Yeah, I don't trust a motherfucker uh-uh. when I go to somebody's house after I learned this. that from Selena. <laughs> trust no bitch. Um, but... What happened? Wait. So the baby was there, and then she left, and then the baby became a doll again. No, no, the baby didn't become a doll. No, no, no. Okay. Remember, she see she wanted to know what really happened to the baby, the real baby. So she switched out the doll again, and the baby was someplace else. And remember that episode of Ruben Grinch? Like, all right, where oh, the fuck's this baby? Oh, he was babysitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're yeah. coming back. Uh-huh. You know, and from then the at, party. And then at the end, the baby's back, and then Ruben Grinch comes in and goes, "She knows." And then the next episode, they reveal right. what happened. So, but but that's what kept you gripped every single episode. It kept you like, I got to get more information. I got to get more information. But then the christening was when, uh, like they had the like, oh, the baby, yay! And then she she was left with the doll again. It's because I think that the girl, it's her baby. Oh, I think it's her baby. You know. And then, but then there's like a cult leader. I mean, yeah, yeah. And then she stepped outside, and all those people were there. And then the cop went back, and they were gone. I, so I don't know yeah. if they scattered, or <laughs> which would be a good scene to see. Yeah, you just I don't know. But the servant is just one of those shows that I really enjoy. So what other, what other, what other, what else are you watching? Like, what are you like? Because you seem like a person that gets into a show, and then you're just like, this is my jam, and I gotta get I home know, and watch it. I know. I'm trying to think. Is that the only one? Because because there's very few of those now. The the um, I loved um. I'm trying to think. Well, I like horror and suspense. That's like my. Oh, so you like uh, what's it? What you call it? With uh, what's what's the, the the gay producer? He made Glee, American Horror Story. Ah, uh, you don't like American Horror Story? 
I, I you know did. What? You know what? You know what? I'm every other season with I, that show. See, every I, other season, I'm like, I go, oh, this is good. And then the next season, I'm like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. See, they lost <laughs> me at Hotel. Like, Hotel was the one that I was like, oh, you didn't like that one with Gaga? Nah. I liked Hotel. It was weird. It was when it started. I liked the Coven. I liked the Coven one. Was coven the best. was fucking That was sick. the best one. That was the best one. That was the best one. And then they started getting weird with, with that, like, like Blair, with that Blair Witch, the, the found Roanoke, footage one. Oh, get the Roanoke, fuck out of that. That And then they did. I haven't, I haven't watched since. I haven't watched since Coven. I started at the hotel. They did well. Well, they did Apocalypse, which was stupid. It's just getting really campy. And then the last season where they did 1985 was trash, <laughs> trash, trash, trash. <laughs> it was garbage. So it you was didn't just, like it? <laughs> no, it was so fucking lame. It was so lame. And I'm getting on Twitter and people are like, "This is the best one yet." I'm like, "You're a ghoul." And then now they just released the cast for the new season, which is, they don't have a title yet. Did they get rid of everybody finally and they got new people? On, or well, still- Emma Roberts is not on it. Okay. Um, Sarah Paulson's back. Oh. Um, I think, I think. Who's um, the main lady? The older lady. I forget her name. Jessica Lange. Jessica Lange, is she? I don't think. I don't know great. yet. I think Kathy Bates might be back and Evan Peters is back. Oh. But here we go. The new addition to the cast. Okay. <laughs> Macaulay Culkin. Really? Oh, yeah. I love Macaulay Culkin. And if it's called American Horror Story Home Alone, I'm in. Oh, that would be oh, God. <laughs> <Yeah>. stupid. Kevin! <laughs> I like his uh I like his after I like his adult career. The I know weird, the weird things he's done and like you know like you know he gets this he gets his bad I love his brother too. Have you watched do you watch Succession? No, that's the one I need to get into. I know. I know. Motherfucker. I know. That show is my I know. Damn. Okay, I'll start watching it What the fuck? I know. This is what I hate about <laughs> DVR and shit cuz now like we're in different universes right now. Yeah. There's the you've watched the show or you haven't watched the show universe. Okay, I'm going to watch it. I'll watch that's it. That's a good it. one, man. I'm really excited about Westworld. Yuck. No, you're going to get into it. You no, hated bitch. The new season of Westworld? Listen, first of all, I'm not with... <laughs> you just said yuck. <laughs> yuck. You want to talk about trash? I'm not with emo emo Terminator, okay? I'm not with it. Just reset the hard drives. <laughs> what the fuck? You know, you go into a place where you want to live out your fantasies, yeah. and then these motherfuckers are, can feel shit? Now, now, we, now we're monsters. I, now, once again, it's like Avatar. Human beings are terrible. I know, but it looks, <laughs> looks kind of cool because they go to like the real world and that's what I'm kind of down for. And then I remember watching that first season and being like, who cleans up the cum? <laughs> like that no, is self cleaning. Who's the flesh like? It's probably like <laughs> and it just goes out their butthole or something. So I'm like, yeah, you like your Apple Watch when you set it to water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just go boop, boop, and it's just boop, like boop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> God. Uh, it's I can't wait. It's gonna be there's some good TV shows coming out soon. I think. Like what? Um, well, I need to watch Love is Blind because everyone's losing their shit on that. Which one is that? See, That's I don't... the Netflix one where they, they have oh, it. Jesus. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. Yes. So they have people in pods. I guess it's like in a sound stage, and they get to know the person only from their voice. Oh, oh yeah. That's not going to work. You don't think so? Because then they get to propose and get married, and apparently it's like a huge shit, short, a shit, shit show. Sh- of course it's a shit show. Of course. My girlfriend loves that show. Oh, of she, course. She loves hearing. She just like, she's like, this is great, and they're getting married. And, but yeah, it's no. like, that shit is not going to work. No. But I'm not a Bachelor person. I can't watch The Bachelor. I can't watch The Housewives. I'm like, ugh. Yeah. I'm just I, tired I, of it. I, anytime I watch shows about women being ratchet, you know. <laughs> oh, I'll watch, um, I'll watch, um, what's it called? The, uh, the, Ba- uh, basketball. What is oh, it? Oh, basketball wives. Basketball wives. Have you seen Love and Hip Hop? Mm, I've seen some. Yeah. yeah. Listen, white girls acting ratchet is one thing, but black <laughs> girls. <laughs> I mean, they go in. It's mm-hmm. like I. Lo- I don't like those shows, but I like the recap show of those shows. Oh yes, where That's they have the them best. all on the stage. Like I <clears> want to <throat> be a moderator of a recap show of those things, just to be like, you know, what? Do you ever watch Big Brother? Uh, I have. Yeah. I love Big Brother. Yeah. My friend Holly was on the last season. Oh, Holly! Holly was. Oh, she, she got was second good. place with the with the guy that she's dating now. Oh, that's Who, good. Yeah. See, I wish they would do a season. Jackson, that's his name. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wish they would do a season of oh the guy they called racist, which was so I was so infuriated he, by they, that he was. No, yeah, they could. Yeah, they were calling him. It's so so. Anyways, but he's from Tennessee. I would like. To, <laughs> don't put people in a box. I'm not putting people you, in a box. You. F- <laughs> wow. <laughs> they put. Uh, anyways, I, this is what I want to see for Big Brother. I would love to see 
a season of the people that were on Big Brother watching Big Brother. Okay, so I want to see oh. I want to see them watching <laughs> themselves and then have moments of like like I want to be the moderator where I go pause. So right there, this is. <laughs> <laughs> So you were you, you said you were lying mm-hmm. about uh, what do you, what do you feel about that or like people being like do you see how stupid you looked right here you looked really dumb here how do you feel about that I think that would be to me fascinating to see them watch themselves and be like wow I really am a fucking idiot mm-hmm. or oh yeah I'm a liar yeah I lied to you asshole because I'm trying to win five hundred thousand dollars whatever I just I think that would be interesting but isn't that also just production where don't you think like the producers oh I know for a fact because since tonight is the premiere of season twelve of RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh Jesus! Oh yeah, never seen that, it. That producers, you've never seen Drag Race? No, I've never oh, seen it. Oh shit! Kevin Christie and I go in. <laughs> it's like it's. See we, what I'm saying? We're in a different universe. We're in different TV universes. Yeah, it's like our, it's our, uh, it's our um, fantasy football. I know Leslie Jones loves drag. She isn't she gonna be on it? Yeah, she's on it this season as a guest judge. Oh wow! But she's also like. Damn, y'all didn't tell me about season three. And I'm like, girl, we're on season tw- <laughs> season 12. Like, it's just so funny because she'll be like, Raj is a bitch. And I'm like, Raj fucking wins. <laughs> and that's my friend. So I got I, a lot okay, of drag so, for you. So what happens with the producers? Friends. Well, they, you know, they, they'll tell them like, <clears throat> you know, let's set up a, oh, right, right, you know, you. like, okay, so-and-so gave you a weird look. How does that make you feel? Oh, well, I, know, you I know. get that. You have to push the story yeah, yeah, along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you watch, but see, the thing about Big Brother is you hear, you know, they when you watch the 24-hour feeds and mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff, you hear the producers saying like, you know, Justin, go to the room. You know, Justin, put your mic on. It's really like a weird, because I don't watch the feeds, but I watch the Big Brother After Dark, and it's a completely different Isn't experience. Isn't they're all like fucking and stuff? No, they don't, I don't, they don't show that stuff, but there has to be tapes someplace. I've seen some, um... YouTube there's gotta, videos. There's got to be outtakes of Big Brother where people are having sex. There's a video of one of the guys from like Big Brother somewhere. Seven or something. No, no, no. I don't know if it was American even. Oh, But oh. he's just jerking off in the shower. <laughs> just jerking off. And he's trying to be so cautious about it because he knows he's he's being filmed, but he's just got to pump and release. He And he's... He's he's leaning over and he's you know obviously in the shower the shower stall's yeah. right here and he's just like <laughs> and you see this muscle movement you know this is not you know you're not loofing sir like yeah well, like how 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 much are you scrubbing your yeah, balls right but here? I was like damn I I mean what you're in a you're in a house for like ninety days. Well, apparently there's uh, a lot of sex going on there too. There has to be. There has to be. Not for everyone because they always have. See, my problem with <laughs> my problem with Big Brother is this whole like you know this diversity push. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck about diversity mm-hmm. on a show like that. Well, that's everywhere now. They're like, we need it diverse. No, but I want twenty hot, in shape, athletic people mm-hmm. being awful to each other. Okay. I don't you need, need re- real world versus road rules. That, thank you. Yes. <laughs> I don't th- that's what I want when I watch TV. If yeah. I want to watch regular motherfuckers, I'll go to the DMV and watch them fight, okay? But I don't need <laughs> when I'm watching my TV show, I don't need the nerd chick, I don't need the fat guy, I don't need the fat girl, I don't need the dude who like, you know, the shut in. I don't need like, you know, fuck these people, okay? I don't want to see them on a on a reality show where the the essence of the show is to bring out the worst in people's personality. Yeah. Because that's what Big Brother is. It brings out the worst thing because they have to lie and yeah. scheme and cheat because they're trying to win $500,000. Get that fucking nerd out of there <laughs> that can't fucking climb up a rock. Get that big, yeah. get, get out, okay? I've been a service engineer for five get, years. Get, get, get out of here, fuck Gary. Get out of here. <laughs> I want to see pretty ass, you know, tits, ass, abs, being and, terrible. And dong. Yeah, being terrible. <laughs> yeah. And then they, and then we, because that's like an escapism. And then we can like be like, okay, you survived all that anytime there's always some kind of false push of diversity yeah i'm just like look what you're doing it's, look to get back to our previous conversation it's like the oscars man it's like what do you want you have to ask yourself out there do you want the best people the best performances mm-hmm. the best productions mm-hmm. to win or do you want to see diversity yeah because they're not always the same yeah that's why i gave up on survivor I was just like, I've never it's, watched Survivor. it's just too staged, but I will watch Naked and Afraid. 
Because that motherfucker shit. naked oh, and afraid is my uh, jam. Uh, uh, yeah. Because uh, it's what, like, what are you doing? Like, uh, what, are you, what are you doing? And then you know what I love about naked and afraid? Like, they, they, okay, first of all, if you've never seen naked and afraid, it's like these survivalist type people, yes. and they think they can survive in. Like the, the the Amazon jungle, they yes. pick a spot and they drop them off there and they're supposed to survive for like, what is it, like 24, 24 days? Something like that. They have no Two food, weeks or no water. Like they have to survive. I love watching at the end and they show them like six weeks later, Ugh. like somebody's face is still swollen yeah, from, from the fucking, bees. from be the bugs yeah. and, the, and the disease that they got. And I don't know if they're ever the same. Is it worth it? I, I mean, <laughs> I think so. I mean, but then again, you know, I can barely go east of La Brea, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's that's that's my survival tap yeah. out i'm like nope <laughs> like i get to that target on the corner i'm like eh, we're going back oh, but that's what's so amazing though it's like you have to you meet a you meet a complete stranger who's apparently just as good as you are right, right? and then it's, and it's like, usually a male and a female male and a female and they're butt ass naked i want to see two gay guys are they gonna fuck i just I think- see two lesbians are they gonna scissor no, because at a, after day two, they haven't showered. True. I think gays are out. <laughs> day two. <laughs> I'm like, you haven't eaten. I didn't even, yeah. You already, then you start losing weight. You hangry already. You got that extra skin just falling off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, that show is yeah, bizarre. How do, you, do they give you toilet paper? No. You're using leaves. That's one of those things they just never like. It's like on well, you talk about like on Westworld. You, you, they, they don't show you the scene boop, boop, where boop. all the cum is coming out. <laughs> <laughs> on Naked and Afraid, they don't show you like that's what you want to see. The outtakes of somebody just yes. sitting by a tree. You, you want to see Big Brother watching Big Brother. You, I want to see just hear <laughs> shit coming out of people. You know? I want to see and a woman sitting on a uh, a thatch of moss during her period. <laughs> just. Just, just perched. <laughs> the views expressed she's by like, Justin she's like, uh, are I, not the views of, <laughs> of, Riffin, of, with Riffin. of Riffin with Griffin. But that's I what I'm saying. It's like, oh, here. I picked the wrong time of the month to do Naked and Afraid. Like, gross. Or like the guy waking up with just a boner and they're trying to keep warm in the night and she's like, ow. Well, yeah. the, oh, I saw one where <clears throat> the first thing they do for the females is they go make a bra and panties. Oh, Every really? time, right? Have you never seen that? I haven't seen the one where they oh, make a bra and pay. That's cheating. The, well, but they have to they make it. They, that's what they do. I saw the guy like made a thing. Oh, where they have the, the palm front? Yeah, and then uh-huh. they have like the, she made like a little, the whole, you know, but I just was like, you see them, they're all bitten up. That's just a, <laughs> like, I just want to see the producer come over and be like, knock that shit off. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, well, I always think, I, I don't, I don't think in that show there's a camera crew there. It's just one dude. See, I would be upset. Because there's got to be a certain point where you're like, you know, you're looking at the guy with the camera because he's got to have his own water and shit. He's like, yeah. you know, and you go, how you guys doing? <laughs> Just watching these naked turds. You know, he's got like, a, he's got like fucking beef jerky yeah. and he's got like his trail mix and yeah. these motherfuckers are starving. He's like, I got to go back to craft services real <laughs> yeah, quick. I mean, yeah. That'd be the great scene is like to see them all like, <laughs> and then you cut this way and they're anim- managers and agents like, or yeah. <laughs> frozen on camera. <laughs> like this is all fake. Yeah. I, yeah, and they're all bitten up and swollen. Ugh. I stopped watching, like, like I like those type of shows, <laughs> and I find myself liking, like, 10 episodes, you know, you know, big fantasy type shits, because I don't, I don't, I don't watch, like, CSI Miami or mm-hmm. CSI or NCIS or I don't even watch New Law and Orders or anything like that. I've stopped watching serial television like that. I can't that. watch it at all. Yeah, right? It's just too real. Yeah, it's just too... Oh, God. Especially like the one... Uh, what's the one with the uh, Special Victims Unit? Oh, SVU? Yeah, yeah. SVU is always about sex crimes. Yeah. And you're just like watching... Ripped like, from the headlines. Right, right, so You're right. like, I'll just read the headline. <laughs> I don't need to rehash. Well, and I also get like Twitter updates of like, missing person found dead. And you're like, well... <laughs> cool like it's it's just everything's awful so i like that escapism of okay it all. yeah so you like, like lock and keys actually kind of fun oh i haven't seen that it's pretty one. fun it's like a kid's kind of oh, like oh, yeah i saw that on stephen that. king's son Dude, wrote it can you believe how many netflix shows there are it's a lot have you just one day just been like i'm looking for something to watch because when i'm on the road i watch netflix so i'm looking i'm, I'm trying let me see what i want to watch and then it's just like what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, is all lot. of this? Yeah, there's a lot. There's like, I, and then I get mad too. Like, why didn't I go out for this? <laughs> shit, I know. Dude, I, I'm watching Netflix shows. Like, I could have been the cop in that shit. Oh, I had. I could have been like, why am I not going out for this shit? Yeah, I had a meeting with Netflix in January, and I was like, I'm in. Yeah, 
<laughs> I'm like, okay. I'm like, I'll host Cornflake War. Like, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do, like, I'll. Cornflake <laughs> War? Something oh my God. I'll host some shit. Like, they have so many. They have chia pets of yeah, they have, extreme chia pets or yeah. something. They have, like, a, they have a lot of competition reality yeah, shows uh, yeah. on Netflix now that are just ridiculous. Uh huh. I love Nailed It. I mean, Nicole Byer and Nailed It, I just think is so funny. Oh, what's Nailed It? What? I haven't oh. seen that one. Nailed it. I got to get Nicole Byer on this. Too. Oh yeah, she's her. fantastic. She yeah. um, so she hosts this show where it's like you have like an expert cake maker who makes like fondant and oh, like wow, wow. these you know sculptured cakes. Right. <laughs> and they get these like three randos <laughs> right who are like I can bake too, but my kids hate it. <laughs> and they they bring them on and and the challenge is for them to make what is in front of them and right. it's just. <laughs> Dog shit. It's so. It's Why do we like seeing people like at their worst? Oh man. No, you know what? Now, I, see, now I'm, I'm pissed off because now I'm gonna be like, "Where the fuck is nailed it?" I gotta see. You have to watch nailed it because, and and it, it's just so funny. I think that's what I love about it is the passion and the drive. <laughs> yeah, right. It's kind of like that show. Um, what was that show? Uh, Wipeout. Oh yeah, remember yeah, yeah. Wipeout? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, and they Why? were like, they're like, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I could be the- American Ninja Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> <And then> it's <laughs> just it, it, it's the first thing to get hit. Bow, gone. Yes, it's why I was obsessed as a kid watching Next on MTV. <laughs> remember, it was like a dating show, and oh, they had yeah, the yes. bus, yes. and they're like. My name's Jacqueline. I'm 16, and this guy's not gonna know what to do with me. Yeah. And he walks off, and he's like, "Next," and she's like. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah! And the one chick fell off. Oh wait, the bus. have you seen? Uh, what's the? Okay, oh you you're getting you're getting me going now. <laughs> oh good, because okay, one I love uh, I love I love 90 Day Fiance. I haven't seen that yet either. I know. Okay, so I have you're a, a piece I, of shit. <laughs> Like you nailed it. Like you're gonna have to. We're gonna. You. I shouldn't have had you on my podcast. You, I should have gave you homework. You have to no. watch these shows. Yes. I'll watch your shows. Okay. And we come back and talk. You okay. have to come back on. I'm gonna like, watch Succession. Yeah, you have to watch 90 Succession. Day Fiance. Fiance is my okay. Shit. And Love Is Blind. That's the assignments. You have to. Okay, and I'm gonna watch these because because like 90 Day Fiance is one of those. And then there's another ones like Have you ever seen Marriage House? What? No. Oh my God! Is this on Netflix too? No, it's not on Netflix. It's on like it's like E Bravo, one oh. of those. Oh, well, I well, always count them all as the same. I, I can't well, figure out. <laughs> I can't figure out what show if comes on. If it's not what. the Kardashians, it's not E. <laughs> it's the other one. So, so then it's like so that one they they you know all these couples come in a house and then they they're trying to get married in this house. You know so, so why? For why? I have no <laughs> fucking clue. This desire. Like people that fail in relationships go, you know what I can do? Mm. Let me go on TV and 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 go to some weird format. That'll be better for my relationship. You know, yeah, you know, no. you can, you're you're are you you're a train wreck. What are you fucking talking about? You can't just you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. So there's that <laughs> one, and then there's the one, uh, oh, this is my favorite one, but I don't know the fucking name of it. But like it's on a beach, uh-huh. okay, and it's like your ex comes. So you're like in a X on the beach. I don't. It might be called MTV? that. So you're like so that you're in a house with like hot people. Oh, Love Island. And then and then you're then they bring your ex. Oh. And your ex is introduced into the house. Oh. And then like you know you're and then it's like that drama and then they bring another ex. X on, it sounds like <laughs> X on the beach. So that's the one that it's just there should be a network called Trainwreck. Yes. And these shows should be on there. Absolutely, because it just doesn't make any. It doesn't make any sense. Do you have a? Do you have a favorite show moment like that just sticks in your head? Like it could be like reality, like reality television. Oh well, one, a lot of my favorite show moments are on the on the recap shows. Uh huh. Okay, but one of my favorites is on Ninety Day Fiance. This pretty face, fat girl. <laughs> okay, that's listen. That's her fucking description. If she was. If she was at a liquor store and she was robbing the place at gunpoint and a cop said, what does she look like? You'd be like, well. She's a PFFG. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Anyway, she's in love with this skinny dude in Morocco who's trying to get his green card. Uh-huh. That's why he, you know, mm. so it's like, you know what I mean? We get it. We get, you know, yeah. she's sending him, she's sending all her money. Okay. So then I just never forget. There's two moments in that. She goes to visit him in Morocco and he takes her on a hike. The shit is a disaster. He goes, he, so he's taking a Moroccan hike. But she goes to Morocco to visit him, and he's taking her on like a mountain hike. 
this fat girl. Oh. And it just it just was terrible. That's not a match. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm saying is that's not a match. Did they were leave her there? Yeah. <laughs> and then it's like and then you know, she said in my moment I remember she goes, "I told you I don't work out." You know. Oh. <laughs> PFFG. And then another moment in that was same couple, he's like, you know how they do the testimonials like mm-hmm. they meet and then like late like he's off to the side at the airport talking to the camera and he's all saying like, you know, she's very pretty, you know, pretty, but I didn't know that she was so big and I was like you didn't know motherfucker really like it's like I just it's like those kind of moments these manufactured yeah. like weird and 90 Day Fiance 90 Day Fiance is full of that okay I gotta watch it because you have like it. you oh my god they have hot couples on there too that you okay. think are gonna work but it's still something shady going on and then you have the couples of like here's this fat girl in shape dude she, he's trying to get his green card or it's always like old guy mm-hmm. old fat guy Young, pretty girl, uh, you know, she's trying to get her green card. It's like, come on. All right, I'm in. What are you doing? Uh, see, one of mine that just sticks out in my head is God Warrior from Wife Swap. What? See, Wife did Swap you not? Wife Swap one. was a whole. I, I don't remember. Know if it's on. I remember Wife Swap. Do you remember God Warrior? No. Okay. <laughs> For your listeners out there, if you don't know the story behind God Warrior, it was a rotund woman. She was living. Ballparking. 500. <laughs> easily. Easily. And by the way, how do you get to 500 pounds? What, uh, she, was she one of those that can't get out of bed? No, but close. Uh, I think her name was Marguerite. She's from Louisiana. She, she close. She was almost at can't almost, get out of bed. Almost full on Gilbert Great Mom. Yeah. Oh, wow. And so she gets swapped out with. So she's a very Christian Jesus is the Lord, blah, 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 blah. She gets swapped out with a woman who is into like, you know, a solstice party and like candles and crystals and, you know, very new age. Yeah. And this woman comes back and just nuts the house down. She's like, (laughs) I've never, I've never seen so many dark sided things in my life. And she's losing. (laughs) She started, she starts all the kids are like, mom, mom. She's like, did you not pray for me? I needed prayer and you guys weren't there. And they're like, we prayed for you. She's like, not enough. I want everybody out of my house. In Jesus name, I pray. If you believe in Jesus, you can stay here. Get the hell out of my house. In Jesus name, I pray. And she just goes off. She takes the check. They give them like X amount of thousands of dollars. Right. <clears throat> just rips it up. I don't want anything tainted and dark sidedness in my house. <laughs> and the producers are like, what the fuck? And they're all losing their shit. And she's like, uh, she's like, Slykix, Slykix, not Psychix, Slykix, Gargoyle, Slykix, I want it all out of my house. And then at the end, again, it was that, um, what, what's the recap or whatever? Oh, the, the recap yeah, show, And yeah. it's like, after further discussion, right, right, right. she took the money. <laughs> Bro, let's finish with, because I, I, I love that on Hoarders. Uh, oh. Hoarders was my shit. Oh. So this is what I was, this is what would get me every time on Hoarders. You, you the whole story about they're trying to fix this house, you know, and then the la- the recap is always like they lost the house. <laughs> they, the recap, it was condemned. Right, right. Yeah. The, the recap is like the worst thing you could possibly think actually happened to uh-huh. these people. Yeah, uh, Warders was like, I don't know why we love watching train wrecks. We love watching trash people. and train wrecks. Yeah, I love a good skeleton under a couch. Oh, oh. no, Warders used to be terrible because you'd be like, you would look at that shit and be like, because you look around your own house, look like I got shit everywhere in my office, and I just go, oh my god, this is terrible. Yeah, but you're not collecting buckets of your own feces. <laughs> you don't know that. I know. I was like. <laughs> Can I see the rest of the house, Eric? Yeah, oh, can you imagine? Uh, oh. Well, that's what's so weird. It's like, it just becomes this thing where it's like, I got to, I think that was a British version of Hoarders where this woman had to be like, it's the smells coming over to our house. Wow. I mean, ugh. that's terrible. Oh, yeah. Or like cats or bugs. Oh, yeah. When they got like, like I like when they have like 15 cats and two of them are dead. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The skeleton under the couch. Oh, yeah. And they're just there. Yeah. No, not even like a skeleton. They're just like, there's a dead cat and she can't even figure out that, you know, you know, Flippy has been been dead for six weeks. Like, it's like the servant to bring and, it back. <laughs> and as I've, I've had a cat before, mm-hmm. I know the smell of having one cat. Yeah. I couldn't imagine. Well, your senses are so desensitized at that point because the garbage in your refrigerator uh, or like the yeah everything's you know what I mean? rotting everything's rotting and it's like how did, how does it get to that point? Ugh. 
and then they 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 bring the dump truck in and they're just throwing shit in the dump truck and they you know, and then the, the, there's always a daughter who's like I'm trying to save you mom <laughs> I'm trying to save you you ain't trying to save me you trying to get rid of my stuff you know? I had to go on a hike in Morocco <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they don't combine them that would be great like wife swap ninety day fiance hoarders. <laughs> 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 Or like hoarding for love oh, or something like that. Oh, yes. Said, and they get married. Mm-hmm. Oh. In the house. That's oh. the marriage house. Yeah. Oh, Shit. right. <laughs> it's a, a marriage <laughs> hoarder <laughs> house. <laughs> Netflix, we're coming for you. <laughs> and they're made through 90 Day Fiance. Yes. They meet. So they have to meet online from different countries to live in a hoarder house where they get married. And there's a competition. And then there's 20 of them. So it's like Big Brother. Right, right. But they got to be hot. But they got. And yes. they have. <laughs> Thank you. Because <laughs> wouldn't it, you know, is it never not so, like, you never see Instagram model hoarders. Right. Like, I would like to see, like, if it was somebody that was super hot and they were hoarding. Hoarding likes. Would it look different? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Or does it always have to be somebody who doesn't have that kind of life? Ah, uh, that's the question out there. Yeah. Or hoard, then the question for the poll, are hoarders always ugly? <laughs> Yeah, is there such a thing as hot hoarders? Oh, there are hot hoarder. That what should be the show. Pick? Hot hoarders. <laughs> That's the song. Hot hoarders. <laughs> That's what I want to know. Yeah, are there hot hoarders out there? That's what we'll know. You know what, and Justin? Uh, we've been. It's already been like a bunch of time. I can't believe we've really? been talking for this long. Yeah. Oh, what is? What's yeah, look thing? at that. You know. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna have you on again. You yeah. Know, one of my anytime. favorite people. Uh, we're, we're gonna because I want you to catch up on the shows, and I'm gonna catch up on the shows. We'll give each other some shows, and next time mm. we'll just recap all these shows. Yes. We do. You heard, guys, you've heard me talk about serving so many times. So try to watch it. It's good. This guy loves it. But it's I'm gonna good. start watching some of these train wreck shows. I am too. I can't wait. I'm. I'm finally you gotta get sit on 90 Day Fiance. 90 Day Fiance is my way, homework. Ninety Day Fiance has like it's so good that they have spinoff shows. Yeah, it's like ninety days, nine, the ninety days after. Uh, there's like ninety days beyond. It's like there's so many great couples and their stories, and it's like, ugh. Anyway. I know. I have to watch Love Is Blind too because that's the big one everyone's oh, yeah, watching. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, and then what's the one uh, on? Uh, I have to watch the Cake Show. <laughs> oh, nailed it. I have to watch nailed so it. So good. And I do want to watch Love Is Blind too. Love Is Blind nailed it. I have to watch Succession and yes. yes. But Love okay. Is Blind is just people are just shallow. I, I, the last closing on that I saw I was watching Steve Harvey when his show was on and he had these women on and he had these women they were you know and it, it was almost like dating game uh-huh. and they were three guys they showed like th- the three women three guys so the guy the women got to choose by looking at them like ooh I want him and it was all sexual attraction uh-huh. then they put the guys behind a curtain and the woman got to interview, like, just off voice, like, interview. And then they said, now pick who you want. And it was all different. <gasps> you know? By personality, yeah. it was different. Yeah. You know? So it's like, and that's the hard part, is trying to find someone that you are physically attracted to and then someone you are emotionally attracted to. And you want that to be the same thing. And a lot of times the pendulum is like, you know, 60, 40, 70, 30. And yeah. you have to figure out what that is. It's called dating in West Hollywood. <laughs> That's what it is. It's called f- dating. Yeah. <laughs> and that show's coming to Netflix too. F- f- dating. <laughs> and people at home are like, I don't want to watch just f- yeah. dating. And but then they do. It, but they're still yeah. watching. It's a train wreck. And I'm like, watch it. This is just against God. Turn it up, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out what Tristan is up to now. <laughs> Tristan and Elijah are just at it again. <laughs> One's trying to bake a cake, and the other one can't pick out the right colors for the drapes. Oh, man. All right. Well, this is Justin Martindale. Yes. I'm going to have all your information, all his information below. Look out for him on E, your new show. Yeah, March 11th on E at 1030, the Funny Dance Show, right after Jade Catapretta and The Soup. And I'm having Jade on, too. Jade's oh, coming on, too. So I'm at Jade from The Soup. This is Justin from uh, the, the Dance. What's it called? Close enough. The, the funny dance show. The funny, okay, yeah. wow. We we got we got we got to work on the title. No, that's it. Not, that's that, we really? we tried to work. So on people it. went into a room. Uh huh. <laughs> oh yeah. Multiple they, weeks. <laughs> multiple tests. And they came out with uh-huh. funny dance show. No, the funny dance show. Oh, they, yeah. Was there a discussion about that? Yes, there was because it was called Stand Up to the Streets, and they were like, it sounds too much like Stand Up to Cancer, and they were like, no, it doesn't. And then they were like, let's. <laughs> 
closer. I was like, that's not the show. They were like, we'll, we'll just call it the funny dance show. Get back, cancer. You can't yeah. stop me. <laughs> so they, they came up with the hilariously creative, the funny dance show. So look out for that, the funny dance yes. show. That's coming out, ho- hosted by... You Justine are- Marino and Heidi Heaslet. I'm I'm the judge. I'm the bitchy judge with, oh. with Lonnie Love and Allison Holker. Oh, so they got a black woman and a <laughs> they got a <laughs> they got a <laughs> and a <laughs> and a, <laughs> and a <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're so stupid. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching Riffin' with Griffin. And like I say, please subscribe and share. And I really appreciate you guys watching every week. And once again, Justin Martin. Thank you so much, guys. Take care.